Namaste friends, welcome to Dr. Varsha Gaitonde's channel. In this lecture, we shall discuss about RNA, RNA world and types of RNA. Before going to the topic, we shall see the contents I am going to cover here. Nucleotides, structural properties of RNA, the central dogma, major milestones in RNA discovery, RNA as a genetic material, experiments, then genetic and non-genetic RNA, RNA world hypothesis, types of RNA, difference between DNA and RNA and finally functions of RNA. As you know, nucleotides are the building blocks of any genetic material. When we consider the whole world means the organisms existing in the world either it may be prokaryotic or eukaryotic, we may consider RNA as a genetic material along with DNA. DNA is a stable genetic material so it is existing or it is the basic genetic material in majority of the organisms. Nucleotides are consisting of nitrogenous bases, pentose sugar and phosphate group. Nitrogenous base and pentose sugar together called as nucleoside and when pentose group is added to it, it is called as nucleotide. If we come to the individual component, nitrogenous bases have purines and pyrimidines. As you know, adenine and guanine comes under purine and thymine and cytosine in case of DNA and cytosine and uracil in case of uh, RNA comes under pyrimidines. If we talk about pentose sugar, there are two types. One is ribose and one is deoxyribose. RNA is ribose nucleic acid that means pentose sugar present here is ribose and DNA is deoxyribose sugar that means here sugar group is deoxyribose. Here there is a structural difference given between DNA and RNA. Likewise you can see here DNA is having a double helix structure and RNA is having only a single helix structure. This is a double helix and single helix. The major difference is here you can find uracil in case of RNA and in DNA it is thymine. The single strand which is consisting of different nitrogenous bases these are not having hydrogen bond in order to connect with the antiparallel strand in case of RNA but here antiparallel two strands are going simultaneously and these are connected with the different nitrogenous bases or we can say the nucleotides are connected by hydrogen bonding. We shall discuss in elaborate way in the future slides. This is how the double stranded RNA and double stranded DNA occurs. In nature or in the world RNA always exists in single stranded form because the major function of RNA is to make translate the material to proteins or take the information from DNA and just give it to the uh, amino acids or proteins. But when the coiling and pairing happens, here the RNA will go back to the coiling process so that double standard RNA will occur and this won't be consistent or it won't be a stable form for a longer period of time. It will be degraded further by different processes. But DNA is always stored in the chromosomes in the double standard manner and that is a stable one. We will talk about central dogma. As you know central dogma consisting of three components. One is DNA, then RNA and proteins. DNA to DNA that means DNA replication. Replica means making many copies. This process happens by a named process called replication. Replication makes many strands of DNA and by using that strands Transcription happens. Transcription is a process where RNA is formed by using DNA as a template. Again translation happens. This is a process where amino acid sequence or proteins are made with the help of RNA. One more process is discussed or a very popular in, river, in uh, central dogma that is reverse transcription. Reverse transcription is with the help of 
RNA dependent DNA polymerase enzyme DNA is synthesized. This process is done artificially or in some viruses and lower eukaryotes or lower organisms. This is a common process. Coming to the history or milestones in RNA discovery or RNA related issues. The first thing is in 1868 by Fred Mixer. He discovered nucleic acids that means he called the material as nuclein since it was found in the nucleus. In 1912, Zemechnik, Paul C. Zemechnik, he discovered tRNA. In 1939, Severo Okova, he found the role of RNA in protein synthesis and showed how RNA is synthesized for his enormous or his contribution he got 1959 Nobel Prize in the field of medicine. In 1955, George Pallade discovered ribosomes. In 1961, Jacob, Sidney Brenner, Matthew Messelson and Monod contributed for the discovery of mRNA. In 1965, Robert Hawley found the sequence of 77 nucleotide of East tRNA that means second contribution towards the discovery of tRNA was made by Robert Hawley who gave the clover leaf structure of tRNA. For his work in 1968 he got Nobel Prize in the field of medicine. In 1967 Carl Woos and Alexander Rich gave RNA world hypothesis. In 1975 Frankel Cornett and Singer gave RNA as genetic material or they found and clinically proved or we can say experimentally proved that RNA is the genetic material. In 1989, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was uh, received by Thomas Sech and Sidney Altman for the discovery of catalytic properties of RNA. In 1993, Ambrose Lee and Fran Bonn discovered miRNA. In 1998, Andrew Fire and Craig Mello gave double standard RNA activities biochemical machinery which degrades those mRNA molecules that carry a genetic code identical to that of double stranded RNA. In case of 1999, in 1999, David Bolcombe who discovered siRNA and the role in post-transcriptional gene silencing. The process is shortly called as PTGS. In the year 2000, Ada Yonath Thomas says and Venkataman Ramakrishnan worked with ribosome structure and for their contribution they got 2009 Nobel Prize for studying the structure and functions of ribosome. In the same year 2000, Thomas Sech, Sech he got the synthetic siRNA and found that that could induce RNAi that is RNA interference in mammalian cells. Coming to the experiments to prove that RNA is a genetic material. We may use RNA means when we classify the RNA, we can classify it as genetic and non-genetic RNA, coding and non-coding RNA, minor and major function RNA. We'll discuss one by one. First of all, we will see some of the experimental evidence to prove that RNA is a genetic material. The first time attempt was made by Frankel Conrad and Singer in 1975. Here the organism used was host as tobacco plant and virus as tobacco mosaic virus. The principle involved was just the simple transformation technique. Scientists isolated RNA and protein from tobacco plants infected with the TMV and used the isolated RNA protein and their mixture to develop TMV symptoms in the healthy plants. If tobacco recovered the means they found that by RNA, the recovery was not possible. By protein, the recovery was possible. That means with the help of RNA, the infection was made. Here the results are found or it is shown in the table. When RNA portion of extract is injected into the plant, TMV symptoms were developed. 
when protein portion of extract was injected, TMV symptoms did not develop. But when protein and RNA mixture was induced or injected into the plant, TMV symptoms were developed. Conclusion from this experiment is the TMV symptoms developed when either RNA or mixture of RNA and protein were applied to healthy plants. When only protein extract was applied, the symptoms did not develop. That means ultimately it shows that RNA is the genetic material. One more thing I just want to discuss here that whenever DNA is the genetic material, we can't expect RNA is also acting as a genetic material in the same organism. In case of viruses in which the DNA is not acting as a genetic material, their RNA plays a major role and it expresses as a genetic material. This is how the experiment was done. Here, two strains of uh, TMV were taken, strain A and strain B. By degradation or fragmentation, they isolated RNA and protein separately. They mixed it, that means for the experimental purpose, they mixed RNA of strain A and protein of strain B, okay, and they injected into the plant tissue or leaf. Then what they got? They got type A progeny, that means strain A was expressing because its RNA was present. Similarly, to confirm this, again they have taken strain B. They may what they made? They took RNA of strain B and protein of strain A. Okay, RNA from here and protein from here. They mixed it well, then they infected into the tobacco leaf. And what they found ultimately type B progeny were obtained that means RNA was taken from type B one more experiment is there experiment on HRV that is Holmes ribgrass virus this experiment was also conducted by Frankel Conrad and Singer they again used the same plant tobacco because for ribgrass virus also tobacco is a host. Here they have taken two strains or they have not taken two strains but they have taken two viruses which are single stranded RNA and they are the genetic material. RNA is the genetic material in that particular virus. Okay. So what they did they have taken two things. One they have taken HRV means uh, Holmes ribgrass virus and they have taken TMV. In the first case what they have done they have taken RNA of HRV and plus the protein from TMV infected plant. Here one more thing you should always remember that whenever TMV is infected motlic symptoms will be appearing and ribgrass virus that gives ring pattern of symptoms based on the symptoms we can easily identify the phenotypic expression of that particular viral infection likewise here in the first case hrv's rna and tmv's protein was taken so what we can get or expect in the progeny here the hrv means ring pattern of symptoms were expressing in the second case tmv uh, infected plant rna was taken and protein of this Holmes ribgrass virus was taken and what happened in the progeny? Progeny showed the TMV kind of symptoms that means mottling symptoms. What is the conclusion here? That symptoms resembled virus from which RNA was isolated and used. This provided conclusive evidence that in plant viruses RNA is the genetic material. Coming to the properties of RNA, like DNA, RNA is a long polymer consisting of nucleotides. It's a single standard helix. The strand has 5 dash end with a phosphate group and 3 dash end with a hydroxyl group. It is composed of ribonucleotides. The ribonucleotides are linked together by 3 dash to 5 dash phosphodiester bonds. Nitrogenous bases that compose the ribonucleotides include adenine, cytosine, uracil and guanine. Here the two important things you need to remember are RNA is much more abundant than DNA because 
it plays many functions like genetic function non genetic function coding function non coding function but dna always play a role in transcription as well as in replication or it acts as a genetic material that's all and one more thing is rna originated before dna this was experimentally proved and concluded by many scientists now we shall see rna as genetic material rna may exist in a single stranded form or double stranded form in some of the viruses like uh, ebola tmv sars rna while is single stranded and in some viruses like rotavirus and uh, rio viride rna exists in double stranded form here we shall discuss the difference between genetic rna and non genetic rna as i told you genetic rna is found in viruses but not in the higher organisms the stranding pattern of genetic rna is either single or double stranded but in non genetic rna it is always single stranded the types are genetic rna exists in only single type and non genetic rna three types three means we may express it as m t and r form replication in genetic rna is self replicating and in non genetic rna it is synthesized from dna that means here we follow central dogma but it is self replicating by using certain enzymes in genetic rna the organism in which it is found is in viruses and certain bacteriophages but non genetic rna is found in all the organisms like plants animals bacteria genetic rna functions regulation of gene action and non genetic protein synthesis and other functions are also there in genetic rna it is found only in absence of dna but non genetic rna it is associated with the dna coming to the structure of rna this i have already discussed but for your kind understanding i'm just uh, reading out here ribonucleic acid or rna is one of the major biological macromolecules that are essential for all known forms of life each nucleotide in rna contains ribose sugar with carbon number 1 through 1 to 5 a base is attached to the first position in general adenine cytosine guanine and uracil backbone is sugar and phosphate group nitrogenous bases linked to sugar moiety project from the backbone nitrogenous bases are linked to pentose sugar through n glycosidic linkage to form a nucleoside phosphate group is linked with 3-oh of nucleoside through phosphodiester linkage the through nucleotides are linked through 3- to 5- phosphodiester linkage to form a dinucleotide more and more such groups will be linked to form a polynucleotide chain such a polymer has free phosphate moiety at 5' end of ribose sugar and it is called as 5' end of polynucleotide chain at the other end ribose has free 3' oh group which is called as 3' end of polynucleotide chain in rna every nucleotide has an additional oh present at 2' position of ribose coming to the process of synthesis rna is synthesized usually by the catalytic activity of enzyme rna polymerase by using dna as a template the process is transcription there are also number of rna dependent rna polymerase that use rna as their template for synthesis of new strand rna that means first case is non genetic rna and second case is genetic rna coming to the rna world hypothesis as i told you carl woos and alexander rich were the two scientists who gave this hypothesis the hypothetical stage in the evolutionary history of life on earth in which self replicating rna molecules proliferated before the evolution of dna and protein that means it gives rna world hypothesis gives that the evolutionary history of rna that means rna originated before the origin of dna or protein in the world the term also refers to the hypothesis that posits the existence of this stage they proposed the concept in the year 1962 and uh, gilbert coined the term as 
RNA world hypothesis in the year 1986. Remember here, two things need to be remembered. The concept was proposed by Alexander Rich in 1962 and it was coined by Walter Gilbert in 1986. Alternative chemical paths to life have been proposed and RNA based life may not have been the first life to exist but the theory gained wide acceptance. Like DNA, RNA can store and replicate genetic information. Like protein enzymes, RNA enzymes like ribozyme can catalyze or accelerate the chemical reactions that are critical for life. One of the most critical component of cells, the ribosome, is composed primarily of RNA. Ribonucleotide moieties in many coenzymes like acetyl-CoA, NADH, FADH, F420 have long been thought to bound coenzymes in the RNA world. Though RNA is fragile, some ancient RNAs may have evolved the ability to methylate other RNAs to protect them. The phrase RNA world was first used by Nobel laureate common commentary on how recent observations of the catalytic properties of various forms of RNA fit with this hypothesis. Coming to the types of RNA, grouping according to coding and non-coding, in coding form mRNA comes, mRNA comes under the coding grouping Coding means it gives or it plays a very major role in the process of transcription and as well as translation. In transcription, it won't take major part, but it is synthesized in the process of transcription. But for translation, mRNA is very important. When it comes to non-coding, first and foremost is for protein synthesis, rRNA and tRNA plays major role. Second properties genetic regulation then rna processing and export dna synthesis with the help of dna dependent rna polymerase then transposon control and enzymatic activity that is ribozyme we'll uh, see the further classification non-coding rna for uh, in the view of processing Three things are important here, splicing, cutting and base modifications are the major functions in case of RNA processing. The different kinds of RNAs involved here are SNRNA, pre-tRNA that is also called as RNSP, then RNS MIRP that is again called as pre-RRNA, RNSP is called as pre-tRNA, this one then RNAs MIRP is called as pre-RRNA. Then for base modification, two RNAs are plays important role. One is SNORNA, that is a kind of rRNA and another is SCRNA, that is again called as SNRNA. For other functions like DNA synthesis, TRC, YRNA and RNAs MRP, these play major function in oncogenic uh, or uh, we can say that uh, cancer studies and embryological studies in export 7-SLRNA for transposon control, PIRNA and endo-SIRNA for enzymatic function, ribosome. This uh, one category of classification is not much important but the previously discussed two categories very important. We shall move further. Now we go and talk about the heterogeneous nuclear RNA or HNRNA. So I was talking about the central dogma process. Once the transcription happens in the nucleus, what will happen? This is a cell. This is nucleus. When transcription happens, what will we can expect we will expect a formation of RNA okay that RNA we call it as mRNA once it comes to the cytoplasm portion but to form a mRNA there is a long process which is known as HNRNA 
द न्यूक्लियर प्रोडक्ट इज हाइड्रोजीनस इन साइज और वेरिएबल एंड इज वेरी लार्ज मोलिकुलर वेट मे मोर देन टेन रेज टू सेवन दैट मीन्स एच एन आर एन ए इज द इमीडिएट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन हियर वॉट विल हैपन द मोलिकुलर वेट इज टेन रेज टू सेवन वाइल द मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ एम आर एन ए इज टू इन टू टेन रेज टू सिक्स और लेस देन दैट मीन्स एम आर एन ए इज द प्रोसेस्ड फॉर्म ऑफ एच एन आर एन ए सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एच एन आर एन ए इज डिग्रेडेड इन द न्यूक्लियस ओनली ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट इज प्रोसेस्ड टू मेच्योर एम आर एन ए एंड दैट मेच्योर एम आर एन ए विल मूव टू द साइटोप्लाजम ओके वेर ट्रांसलेशन टेक्स प्लेस हियर वन एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन इन केस ऑफ ओवाल्बुम इन प्रोसेसिंग हियर द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन प्रोसेसिंग इज प्रोसेस इज हैपनिंग वेन द आर एन ए इज फॉर्म्ड और वी कैन से कॉल इट एज प्री आर एन ए और एच एन आर एन ए हियर बाय रिमूविंग द इंट्रॉन्स एंड बाय टेकिंग और जॉइनिंग ऑल द एक्सॉन्स हियर द मेच्योर एम आर एन ए इज ऑप्टेन दिस मीन्स फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग द मेच्योर एम आर एन ए देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोसेस लाइक कैपिंग पॉली आडिलाइनेशन एंड थ्री डैश टेलिंग इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड we'll see here in prokaryotes the transcription and translation is coupled in space and time spatio temporal half life time is 1 to 3 minutes polycystonic mrna is obtained in prokaryote when we talk about messenger rna in case of eukaryotes one gene encodes one protein for mrna then mrna carries information about a protein sequence to the ribosomes protein synthesis factories in the cell this is coded so that every three nucleotides that is called as codon which correspond to one amino acid that means each amino acid if we call it as this as one amino acid definitely it will be having three amino acids that means this is one codon the once precursor mrna has been transcribed from dna it is processed to mature mrna this removes its introns and non coding sections of the pre mrna the mrna is then exported from nucleus to cytoplasm where it is bound to ribosomes and translated into its corresponding protein formed with the help of tRNA this i have already discussed coming to the structural characteristics of mrna I am talking about the mature mRNA here. Three side cap, three capping or three dash capping, then three dash tail impart stability to mRNA by protecting from specific exonuclease. The mRNA molecules are formed with the help of DNA template during the process of transcription. the sequence of nucleotides in mrna is complementary to the sequence of nucleotide on template dna the sequence carries mrna is real in the form of codon and codon is made up of three nucleotides the 5 dash terminal end is capped by semel methyl guanosine triphosphate cap this is called as 3 dash capping 5 dash capping the cap is involved in the recognition of mrna by the translational mechanism it stabilizes mrna by protecting it from 5 dash exonuclease activity that means capping is very essential for protecting the mrna or mature mrna from 5 dash exonuclease exonuclease the property of exonuclease is to degrade the mrna so it prevents the exonuclease activity the three dash of most mrna have polymer of adenylate residues the residue may vary from 20 to 250 the tail tail prevents the attack by three dash exonuclease histones and interferons do not contain poly a tail both five dash and three dash end there are non coding sequences which are not translated the significance of this uh, non translated regions i'll talk in the next um, slides the intervening regions between non coding sequence present between 5 dash and 3 dash end is called as coding region this region encodes for the synthesis of protein so far we talked about mrna now we'll talk about the ribosomal rna it is commonly called as rrna 
that builds the ribosome together with proteins. Single stranded but secondary and tertiary structures are important. In eukaryotic ribosomes, mitochondria is 12S and 16S. Here S indicates the Schwedgeberg units. That means the size of that particular uh, ribosomal unit. In prokaryotes and eukaryotes, it differs. Always it is classified as large subunits and small subunits. Large subunits are represented as LSU and small subunits as SSU. In prokaryotes, the size of ribosome is always 70S type. It is having larger subunit divided into 50S and small subunit 30S. This is again the 50S larger subunit is divided into 5S, 120 nucleotide and 23S, 2906 nucleotides. The small subunits are again divided into 16S and 1542 nucleotides. When we talk about eukaryotes here, size is 80S. The large subunit will be 60S and small will be 40S. The 60S subunit is further divided into 5S having 121 nucleotide, then 5.8S having 156 nucleotide and 28S consisting 5070 nucleotides. When we talk about the small subunits in eukaryotes, it is 40S again divided into 18S and 1869 nucleotides. Ribosomal RNA is the catalytic component of the ribosomes. Here, the eukaryotic ribosomes contain four different rRNA molecules like 16, 18S, 5.8S, 28 and 5S rRNA. Three of the RNA molecules are synthesized in the nucleolus and one is synthesized elsewhere. In the cytoplasm, ribosomal RNA and protein combine to form a nucleoprotein called ribosome. Ribosome binds mRNA and carries out protein synthesis. Several ribosomes may be attached to a single mRNA at any time. Nearly all the RNA found in a typical eukaryotic cell is rRNA. That means major portion is shared by this particular component. This is how the major unit and minor unit differs. Here this is a major unit or subunit 50s in prokaryote and 30s in eukaryote then in case of uh, sorry 30s and 50s as minor and major in prokaryote only and when we talk about eukaryote it is 60s and 40s how it plays major role in protein synthesis we shall discuss coming to transfer rna tRNA is a small RNA chain of about 80 nucleotides. It transfers specific amino acid to a growing polypeptide chain at the ribosomal site of protein synthesis during translation. It has sites for amino acid attachment and an anticodon region for codon recognition that binds to a specific sequence on the messenger RNA chain through hydrogen bonding. Transfer RNA are the smallest of three major specific RNA molecules. They have 74 to 95 nucleotide residues. They are synthesized by the nuclear processing of precursor molecule. They transfer the amino acids from cytoplasm to the protein synthesizing machinery, hence the name is tRNA. They are easily soluble, hence also called as soluble RNA or sRNA. Don't get uh, confused between sRNA and small RNA. They are also called as adapter molecules since they act as adapters for the translation of the sequence of nucleotides of the mRNA in a, into specific amino acids. There are at least 20 species of tRNA, one corresponding to each of the 20 amino acids required for protein synthesis. Coming to the structural properties of tRNA, as I have told you, the Clover leaf structure was of uh, tRNA was given by Holly. This is the clover leaf structure. The structural differences are primary structure, secondary structure, and tertiary structure. In case of primary structure, the nucleotide sequence of all the tRNA molecules allow extensive interest and complementation or complementarity that generates a secondary structure by complementation secondary structure is generated in secondary structure 
Each single tRNA shows extensive internal base pairing and acquires clover leaf structure. Structure is stabilized by hydrogen bonding between the bases and is a consistent feature. We will see the components of secondary or clover leaf structure. The clover leaf structure consisting of different portions like amino acid attachment site. This is at 3-OH side and it is having a codon of having ACC nitrogenous bases. Then we come to psi, T psi C loop. This particular portion or the right sided portion of the clover leaf structure or secondary structure of tRNA functions in ribosome recognition. One small portion is here you can see that is called as extra arm that may be found in many organisms or may not. At the base there is an anticodon loop. This is an anticodon loop like this anticodons will be attached to codons will be attached to this that means codon will be present on mRNA and this will act as an anticodon. This helps in mRNA recognition site. That means the function of tRNA is bringing the amino acids. Okay. And that will make the codon anticodon properties. Here on mRNA we can expect the codon or mRNA acts as a coding region and the amino acids which are brought by the tRNA that acts as a anticodon and by pairing that a particular amino acid sequence will be synthesized. So next we'll move to the other side that is left side of the clover leaf structure here there is a DHU loop the function of this is activating the enzyme site at the phi dash end here Phosphorylated or P site it is called as phosphorylated phi dash terminus. We will discuss about the functioning of uh, each side. The first one is acceptor arm. As I told you it is located at the 3 dash end. It has 7 base pairs. The end sequence is unpaired cytosine. Cytosine adenine at the 3 end. The 3OH group terminal of adenine binds with the carboxyl group of the amino acids. The 3 dash RNA bound with the amino acid is called aminosyl tRNA. CCA that is accepted arm attached is done post transcriptionally. That means after transcription only this process can be carried out when the assembly of tRNA, rRNA and uh, sorry when the assembly of rRNA and mRNA takes place and tRNA brings the amino acids at that time only we can uh, expect the function of acceptor arm. Second one is anticodon arm. Anticodon arm lies at the opposite end of acceptor arm means at the down or base portion here five base pair long sequence can be found recognizes the triplet codon present in the mRNA the base sequence of anticodon arm is complementary to the base sequence of mRNA codon due to complementary it can bind specially with mRNA by hydrogen bonds the third loop is DHU arm it has three to four base pairs it serves as a recognition site for the enzyme that is amino acyl tRNA synthetase that adds the amino acid to the acceptor arm. Next one is T psi C arm. This is found at the right corner. This is opposite to the DHU arm. DHU arm is at the left corner. Okay. Since it contains pseudo uridine, that is why it is so named. Okay. It is involved in the binding of tRNA to the ribosomes. Extra arm or variable arm. About 75% of the tRNA molecules possess a short extra arm. If about 3 to 5 base pairs are present, the tRNA is said to be belonging to class majority tRNA belonging to class 1. Okay, Class 1 means it is having about 3 to 5 base pairs which are present for the tRNA. TRNA belonging to class 2 have long extra arm having 13 to 21 base pairs in length. 
so we talked about the primary structure then uh, secondary structure that is nothing but clover leaf structure given by holly now we shall discuss about the tertiary structure of trna this is l shaped okay secondary structure was having clover leaf model or clover leaf structure and the tertiary structure is l shaped it is formed by further folding of the clover leaf due to hydrogen bonds between t and d arms the base paired double helical stems get arranged into two double helical columns continuous and perpendicular to one another here you can see these are perpendicular to one another coming to the moiety or the complex of t different three different kinds of rnas here you can find the rrna as i was talking about the large subunit and small subunit if we talk about the eukaryotic rna okay 60s is the larger subunit and 40s is the smaller subunit okay this big head is the larger subunit and this is the smaller subunit of rrna second is mrna okay this is a whole mrna matured mrna which gives coding or codes for the process of protein synthesis or translation ab bacha kya now trna is left this is trna the function of trna is to bring the anticodons or this will bring the amino acids it will match with the codons and with the help of matching the polypeptide sequences formed or the peptide bond will join the amino acids okay so we are already discussing about the functioning of different uh, rnas we will also discuss about how the polypeptide chain is formed okay here there are three sites are there on uh, our rna unit one is the center site called as p site okay and the first one at the left right end is a site and the third one this side is it is the exit site when the translation process begins trna begins the first protein or amino acid that amino acid will be present in p means that will come and bind at the p site always there is a fixed rule that the first amino acid brought should be placed at the p site from that site the initiation of polypeptide chain begins second and subsequent amino acids will be brought to this side means to a site it will be brought and like this sliding of mrna takes place that means this whole unit will move to this side okay and the amino acids which are not matching and trna will be moving at the opposite end so that the entire mrna is red and the polynucleotide chain is formed this is the whole process of translation coming to the difference between rrna mrna and trna the first is percentage of total rna in the cell if you will take a whole cell 80% you will find the rrna means rna which is associated with the ribosomes 5 to 10% mrna can be found and 10 to 15% trna can be found the amount of mrna is very less only 5 to 10% because it has to undergo so many processes like hnrna is processed then capping tailing polyadenylation which makes the um, very mature mrna and that will further move to cytoplasm in order to make the translation after the process of translation this will be degraded so the amount of mrna present in the cell is very less that is only 5 to 10% and trna is 10 to 15% coming to the sedimentation coefficient for rrna it is 28s 18s 5.8s 5s 23s 16s and 5s whereas for mrna it is 8s and for trna 3.8s number of nucleotides for rrna for 5s rna it is 120 nucleotides 16 to 18s rna 1600 to 2500 nucleotides then for 23 to 28s rna it is 3200 to 
5500 nucleotides in case of mrna in your lower eukaryotes and uh, prokaryotes like e coli 900 to 1500 nucleotides are um, found then in tRNA it is 73 to 93 nucleotides coming to the unusual bases for rRNA the small amount of methylated bases are found in e coli it is 1 per 100 to 150 nucleotides in mRNA, small amount of unusual bases and in RRNA, tRNA, high amount of unusual bases in E. coli, it is 1 per 3040 nucleotides. Coming to the site of synthesis, rRNA is derived from nucleolar rnDNA. mRNA, which is synthesized from nucleus, means DNA present in the nucleus by taking DNA as a template. Then tRNA, here synthesized in nucleus on DNA template. Beginning of synthesis of rRNA begins at gestation and increase as development proceed. Means if we take the animal um, biological system, the rRNA processing begins at gestulation stage and increase as development proceeds. In mRNA, some mRNAs are found in the ovum. New mRNA is synthesized in the early cleavage and for 3RNA synthesis occurs at the end of cleavage site. Coming to the structural properties of three different RNAs, rRNA having large stable RNA molecules composed 60% of the ribosomal mass. The mRNA has short unstable single stranded RNA corresponding to a gene encoding within DNA. And the tRNA has short 70 to 90 nucleotides. Stable RNA with extensive intramolecular base pairing contains an amino acid binding site and mRNA binding site. Finally, we discuss about the functions of three different RNAs. rRNA ensure the proper alignment of mRNA, tRNA and ribosomes during protein synthesis. Catalysis peptide bond formation between amino acids mRNA serves as intermediary between DNA and protein used by ribosomes to direct synthesis of proteins it encodes. Wherever tRNA carries the correct amino acid to the site of protein synthesis in the ribosomes. Now we shall talk about the other kind of classification of uh, RNA. The first is transfer messenger RNA shortly called as tmRNA. This is found in many bacteria and plastids. This tag the proteins encoded by mRNA that lacks stop codons for degradation and prevents the ribosome from stalling due to the missing stop codon. Double stranded RNA. This type of RNA has two strands bound together as with double stranded DNA. This forms the genetic material of some viruses like as I told in many lower viruses, lower eukaryotes. Coming to guide RNA, that is gRNA, are the RNA genes that function in RNA editing found in mitochondria by inserting or deleting stretches of uridylates. gRNA forms part of editosome, that is editing process, and uh, contains sequences to hybridize to matching sequence in the mRNA to guide the mRNA modifications. Viral RNA that is transcribed from negative sense RNA and serves as a template for protein synthesis is complementary RNA or cRNA. Here negative sense RNA viral RNA with a base sequence complementary to that of mRNA during replication serves as a template to the transcription of viral complementary RNA. Next is ribozyme that is a catalytic RNA or cRNA. RNA enzyme or ribozyme are found in today's DNA based life and could be an example of living fossils. Ribozyme plays vital role like ribosome. An RNA protein complex responsible for protein synthesis. An optimal concentration of metal ions like magnesium and K that is potassium is associated with their effective functioning that means ribozymal function is depending on mg and k function activity then ribozyme generally act as molecular scissor cutting precursor rna molecules at specific sites here in the figure it is given how it acts as a cutting and 
ch chopping that particular sequence they serve as molecular staplers which ligate or join two rna molecules together that means ribosome makes a dual function it cuts also and it make ligation also various functions of ribosome cutting the phosphodiester bond own and other rnas example in um, digestion of rnas p trna precursor or rnas mipr rp rrna peptidyl transferase activity on the ribosomes autocatalytic splicing involved in the transformation of large precursor molecules of trna rrna mrna into smaller final products hammerhead ribosome performs self cleavage and an rna polymerase ribosome can synthesize a short rna strand from a primed rna template in their active form ribosomes are complexed with protein molecules like enzyme ribonuclease p or shortly called as rnas p is found in the living organisms rnas p is a heterodimer containing one molecule of protein and one molecule of rna the ribosome cleaves at the head of phi dash end of the precursor to the trna these enzymes are involved in autocatalytic splicing of prna making contiguous rna the splicing is carried out by rna part of the heterodimer synthetic ribosomes can be used in genetic engineering applications to stop the expression of any gene in a sequence specific manner and therefore may be useful in cancer therapy and hiv treatment ribosomes can be inserted into the cells having synthetic oligonucleotides with a gene gun or the cell can synthesize them itself with engineered genes now we shall talk about the small rna most of these molecules are complexed with proteins to form ribonucleoproteins and are distributed in the nucleus in cytoplasm or both the range in size from 20 to 300 nucleotides and present in 1 lakh to 1 million copies per cell rna that is not translated into protein are small rnas epigenetic related small rna or non coding rnas are mi si sh pi and inc rnas most prominent examples of small rnas are trna and rrna in our small rna only small nuclear rna is one form this small nuclear rna a subset of small rnas are significantly involved in mrna processing and gene regulation of several snrnas u1 u2 u3 u5 and u6 are involved in the intron removal and processing of hnrna into mrna that means i have already discussed about the formation of mrna from hnrna or mature uh, mrna formation from the hnrna in that process what happens the portion of introns are removed and exons are joined together to form a mature rna to remove this portion here many units like u1 u2 u4 u5 u6 are involved and with the help of small nuclear rnas only the mature mrna can be found the u7 snrna is involved in the production of correct 3 dash ends of histone mrna which lacks the poly a tail this forms a complex with proteins to form ribonucleoprotein particles called snrnps coming to the different kinds of small nuclear rnas first one is spliceosomal snrna that means it is involved in splicing activity non spliceosomal snrna that in that plays different other functions then sno rna that is small nucleolar rna it plays role in chemical modifications of r rnas small kajal body rna that is sca rna this plays role in spliceosomal chemical modifications of snrnas sca rna being component of single recognition particle helps in targeting the secretory proteins another one is small cytoplasmic rna this has 7s and 129 nucleotide units then 
found in cytosol and rough endoplasmic reticulum associated with proteins components of single recognition particles that are involved in specific selection and transport of secretory proteins by recognizing signal sequence at amino terminus of growing polypeptide chain the next one is grna about guide rna we have already discussed then catalytic rna or crna this is ribozyme only complementary rna again the crna only in complementary rna there are two things one is negative sense rna and positive sense rna negative sense rna is the viral rna with the base sequence complementary to that of mrna during replication it serves as a template to the transcription of viral complementary rna and positive sense rna the having same base sequence as mrna during replication function as mrna serve as template for protein synthesis the one more type is exist RNA that is X inactivation specific transcript. It's a large RNA coded by gene on the X chromosome. The size is around 17 KB having 8 exons with human cyst. Exist RNA accumulates in female somatic cells along with X chromosomes containing active exist genes and proceeds to inactivate nearly all hundreds of genes on the X chromosome. Cyst does not travel over to any other chromosomes in nucleus. The bar body seen in the cell nucleus with the light microscopy is inactive X chromosome covered with exist RNA. The entire exist X blocking mechanism is very complex. Coming to antisense RNA or ARNA. This is artificially used to block translation of particular mRNA so as to prevent formation of some harmful proteins. This classification having trans antisense RNA or not perfect homology that is micro RNA and cis antisense RNA that is having perfect homology called as overlapping RNA. This uh, overlapping RNA can again be classified into siRNA and shRNA at cis position near overlapping to the target gene and transposition far from the target gene okay this is um, how we can classify it we were talking about the antisense RNA and in that cis and trans type the first one is cis type in cis type we shall talk about the miRNA MicroRNA or miRNA is a short non-coding RNA present in all living organisms have been shown to regulate the expression of at least half of the all human beings. These single standard RNAs exert their regulatory action by binding messenger RNA and preventing their translation into proteins. That means this process prevents the translation means proteins are not formed. As the operon hypothesis says, the switch on and switch off regulation. When proteins are not required, the biological system need to be stopped. At that particular situation, these uh, anti-RNAs play a very major role. MicroRNA has 21 to 25 nucleotides in length and are generated by nucleolytic processing of products of distinct genes or transcriptional units. The small process to mature miRNA uh, typically hybridize via the formation of interfect RNA RNA duplexes within the 3 dash untranslated regions of specific target mRNA, leading via unknown mechanism to translation arrest. This is how the entire process of miRNA or processing or stopping the translation by miRNA takes place as I have already told you in case of miRNA perfect pairing is not required. The, there are three steps like pre-mRNA formation then pre-miRNA formation and cleavage. In case of nucleus what will happen miRNA gene is encoded um, mRNA having poly polymerase 2 type involved in transcription process here to prevent this pri miRNA is activated that means this is having a loop head formation loop is also present then head is also present 
okay here drosha is a enzyme which makes pri rna to pre rna this pre rna is for mi rna is further exported to cytoplasm where different components like dicer risk complex that is rna induced silencing complex ergonauts and other components are involved in degrading that particular mrna sequence here mrna what will give it will give a complementary sequence by binding these two the risk complex will identify this and the degradation of this will further prevent the translational process that means either mrna is cleaved or the entire translational process is stopped now we shall differentiate between mirna and srna origin of mirna it is uh, cis regulated or cis originated and srna is trans originated distinct genomic loci encoded by their own genes in mirna SIRNA is encoded by transposons, virus and heterochromatin. Here you need to remember is MIRNA is inbuilt means it is always present in our body whenever the protein synthesis is more it will just cut short or cut down the translational process. But SIRNA is not inbuilt or it is not native to our body whenever some viruses are infecting or heterochromatin regions are activating or transposons are activated in an organismal body SIRNAs are activated. Coming to the size of nucleotides in MIRNA it is 21 to 23 nucleotide SIRNA 20 to 25. Precursor to mirna is endogenous transcribed RNA and in siRNA it is exogenous long double stranded RNA. mirna targeting is imperfect or perfect base pairing. Multiple mRNAs having coding of 3-UTR regions that means pairing is imperfect in mirna but perfect base pairing is required for siRNA specific to one mRNA, mRNA and coding region is there. Coming to the attachment of mRNA in miRNA, non-coding region it is attached and in SI it is attached to coding regions. Effect in miRNA, translational repression or cleavage in SI it is mRNA cleavage. Significance of miRNA, it has endogenous gene expression regulation, SI has viral defense and genome stability. MIRNA the revolu evolutionary conservation is nearly always conserved in all related organisms but SIRNA the viral defense and genomic stability is found sorry rarely conserved in related organisms means SIRNA is not conserved MI is always conserved nature of regulatory targets in MIRNA regulate different genes SI mediate the silencing of same gene from which they originate effect of translation on mirna translation is blocked and same is expected and observed in sirna function is gene regulation now we shall discuss about the sirna sirna is derived by the specific nucleotide cleavage as i told you it is um, activated by the external factors or external infection which is having 21 to 25 nucleotide length this need perfect pairing of RNA RNA hybridization then uh, siRNA and mRNA complex need to be formed how it works see here double standard RNA is found there in case of miRNA the transcriptional processed mRNA when it enters by the, with the help of different activities maybe like uh, looping or maybe by pairing that particular same mature mRNA the further processing could be done but in case of siRNA double standard RNA is the preliminary requirement for the process after this hairpin is formed when this hairpin is formed siRNA duplex with the help of dicer is formed and risk complex as well as argonaut sequence will just uh, stop or prevent the function of this particular translation and gene silencing takes place that is nothing but 
RNA interference process. Coming to the significance of MI and SIRNA, that is uh, having role in potential targets for therapeutic drug development in humans and knockdown of specific proteins for in uh, any technology. The third kind is SHRNA, that is short hairpin RNA, hairpin like RNA. The mechanism of SHRNA is not much different from SIRNA, but here the basic material involved or basic from on which it acts differs. Like miRNA, it needs a transcribed sequence of mRNA. Okay, that particular mRNA is taken here, then hairpin loop or pre pri shRNA is formed, then pre shRNA again it will move to the cytoplasm. There, dizer argonaut risk complex will be formed and silencing takes place here also perfect pairing is required but at the beginning the premature mrna is must here coming to the difference between rna and dna RNA is single standard mainly the concept when self complementary sequence are there it forms a double standard structure like hairpin structure. DNA is double standard always except for certain viral DNA which are single standard. Sugar is ribose in DNA, RNA and deoxyribose in DNA. Pyrimidine components differ in RNA that means um, the thymine is replaced by uracil and in DNA uracil is never found. RNA being single standard structure is does not follow Chargaff's rule and DNA follows the Chargaff's rule. Other some of the other differences are also there between uh, DNA and RNA like DNA always plays the genetic role RNA doesn't or it sometimes plays genetic role sometimes not if we take the functioning of dna and rna may many functions are uh, obtained or observed in case of rna but not in case of dna means dna only plays a genetic role by storing the information it passes the information generation after generation let us summarize the functions of rna RNA plays genetic and non-genetic role, plays in role in translation, protein synthesis, promotes the ribosomes to choose the right amino acid which is required to build up new proteins in the body. Some RNA molecules play active role within cells by catalyzing biological reactions controlling gene expression or sensing and communicating responses to cellular signals. Certain RNAs are involved in gene regulation functions. Thank you. I hope uh, the things covered in this topic are uh, informative to you. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. Keep on sharing, liking and commenting. Thank you once again.